And welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dawn Bosley and this is my vlog number 47. Uh, last week I mentioned I was going to be on the radio on the 1st of March. Um, I was actually on two BBC radios, which was Radio Suffolk with Wayne Davin and BBC Radio Somerset with Simon Parkin. Um, they were both really, really helpful and I had two live interviews. Um, I managed to get hold of a copy of my BBC Radio Somerset interview and I've tagged it at the end of this vlog for you to listen in. Um, it mentions my music and my books and a little bit about me because on the 1st of March I launched book three which you can see just behind me and the big picture you've got there is part of the book as well so it's one of the images from the book. Uh, but anyway, it was good fun because it was a live interview and I didn't know what they were going to ask me. Um, but they did ask me also to play one of my instruments. So um, if you listen through, you'll hear me playing one of my instruments. Um, and then you can go from there. But yeah, it was it was a blast. I really, really enjoyed it. So that's it. That's my news for this week. I've been really busy. Um, I'm still writing music in the background, so there will be a song coming up in the next couple of weeks, perhaps a month or so. Um, I'm just trying to fit it in and with whatever else I'm doing. But anyway, I will let you know and I'm sure next week I'll have a bit more news on that. Um, so that's it for this week. Enjoy the rest of your coffee while it's hot. And I'll speak to you again, but please stay safe and look after yourself. Love you lots. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. Simon Parkin. BBC Radio Somerset. Now, it's not often you get to talk to a world champion drummer, but when she was just 14 years old, Dawn Bosley beat bands from all over the globe to take the title at the World Championships. Well, fast forward a few years to now, and she now uses her musical skills to write children's books with music. And Dawn's Theo the Yellow Bird Book 3, My Adventure in the Countryside, is being launched today. Theo goes to the countryside on a brand new adventure. Theo meets a mouse, his name is Squeaky. He has a shop full of cheese and very cheeky. Well, Dawn, who lives in Shipham here in Somerset, is with us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Simon. Thank you uh, for having me on your show. It's an absolute pleasure. Well, thank you for coming on. Congratulations on book three coming out today. Oh, thank you. It's um, so exciting. Thank you. And what was the response to books one and two like? Amazing. Um, because I've got fans for my music worldwide, I'm finding that people are picking them up as well, wherever they are. And because of the music as well... They can play it in the car and they can play it anywhere. So it's lovely. The response has been tremendous. And oh, that's brilliant. And, yes. and children we know do respond well to songs. And it was, am I right in thinking it was a sort of a lockdown idea that got you doing this? Yes, it was. Initially, I started with three Christmas songs last year and I thought I'll do some colouring books to go with them. And that's how it kicked off, basically. They were really successful. And then I thought, let's have some full colour and bring some rainbows into our children's lives and some sunshine. So what I've done is I wrote six books for this year to be released. And they're full colour A4 books. And they're suitable for about age four upwards. And they just bring some sunshine into everybody's homes, I hope. And, and as a musician, primarily, yeah. I mean, writing stories, do you find that challenging? No, it just, they both go hand in hand. Um, I'm a mum of four grown-up children now, so I know it's so important, and with this pandemic, with children's mental health, it's nice to keep them all occupied and do something. So I thought, with these books and the music, it was so easy to do. They just fell into place. 
So once you have the story, um, like you've just played now book number three's um, theme tune, because each book has got a separate song to go with it that goes with each book. And it just captures the moment and also it introduces you to the characters, you can hear them. And it's just a wonderful way of doing it. I'm so pleased that I've managed to get this idea. And it's quite unique because I illustrate, I publish, I create and produce all the music myself. So no one else in the world is doing this. So this is a first. Wow. So you've got it on Somerset Radio. <laughs> there you go. Well, we are ever so proud to have you here. The oh, the books, you. some of the other books that you've done, uh, a couple of Christmas ones, Santa Got the Hiccups, which yeah. we love the title of, uh, yeah. Santa's Guitar, Santa's Boots, Rainbow yeah. Rock Star. So, I mean, there's always sort of a musical element anyway. Yes. Rainbow Rock Star is wonderful because you can have it at children's parties and it makes the children look cool and they've got to do all these little actions and it's just great fun. And with groups of people, especially a birthday party, well, they can have good fun with that and then they can take the books home when they finish. How lovely. Do you, do you remember when groups of people were allowed for birthday parties? It seems like such a long <laughs> yeah. time ago now, Dawn, you know, doesn't it? When um, we're allowed, um, <laughs> yeah, it would be wonderful. When and Jumping you... Jack is an Easter colouring book, and that's got a hidden Easter egg hunt inside. So that's another alternative to an Easter egg, because we have lots of Easter eggs, and this is another way of bringing that Easter fun into your homes. So when it comes to the... the the books that have the songs with them which which comes first do you write the songs and then write the story or do you write the story and then write the song a bit of both really um i get the i get an inspiration from somewhere whether it's somewhere i will go to or something i hear and um yeah so it's a bit of both to be honest with you um the book three now the adventure in the countryside the inspiration of course has come from somerset so we've got the cheddar gorge mentioned in there and Perry, who makes apple juice, and there's um, the bee that makes the honey, and there's lots of things in the book relating to uh, Somerset in, that, in book three. Oh, that's really good. And um, we know that you are, well, you are at the head of a very musical family. Two of your sons uh, do, yes. do music as well. Yes, they do. My son is a, a budding opera singer, a tenor, and he is absolutely amazing. And my other son, he likes singing things like Motown and all those sort of old classics, and they're just awesome. I mean, the whole family loves singing, and we've been brought up with it, even with my father, when he used to sing in nightclubs in the Welsh Valleys many years ago. Wow. I, I, would you have gone around with him? Because often, you no, know, back um, in the day... I was too young then. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, let's let's talk about your own uh, youthful musical experiences, though. <laughs> and you. you know, this is, when when I read your biography, Dawn, this was the reason why it was like, now come what may, we've got to get Dawn on. So, <laughs> tell me about being a world champion drum player. Well, that happened when I was very young. I started in a jazz band. It's a marching band, and in Wales, they used to have those many years ago. I think there's still a few out there, um, and they have them all over the country. So we travelled to, I think it was Cannock one year when I was about 13 or 14, and I was a lead drummer of about eight drummers. And um, as I said, I started from about 10, I think. Um, so I built my way up, lead drummer, I taught all the drummers in the band, and I also won first place as lead drummer, so I was so chuffed. <laughs> I think that's the first thing I've ever won in my life, and the only thing. <laughs> when, and when you are world champion drummer, would I mean? Do you get some kind of trophy? Have you got some medal yeah. somewhere? We had a little medal, and I don't know where they've gone now. They're, they're only small little medals, about the size of your palm of your hand, and we used to tag them on the front of our drums. So they used to be weighed down with my drum. I had over, <laughs> I think it was two hundred and fifty medals. Wow. So, yeah, it was amazing. And you were actually taught by someone with a military background? Yes, I was. They used to come and visit. Um, like a lot of um, these establishments, they come out to children and help and share their skills, which was fabulous. And he just taught me. He used to use a Royal Scot, if anybody's familiar with drums. And this uh, Royal Scot is a snare drum. So it's a single drum on its own. And... It's just wonderful. And when you're in a jazz band, it also teaches you deportment. So you know how to hold yourself. Um, and the drums are very, very heavy, of course. And when you're a young little girl 
carrying these big things. Um, yeah, but it was lovely. And we travelled. We had a bus. And we used to travel everywhere on the bus and meet up with lots of bands. And I think on that particular day that I won, there were 80 jazz bands taking part. Crikey. Yeah, so lots of people. And when you were doing the marching in the marching band, how far would a parade take you? Would you? I mean, would you be marching for miles, drumming and walking with a heavy drum at the same time? Yes, yeah, so we used to go through the streets and um, show off our wares for certain um, things that were happening, events, uh, community events happening. And But we used to march around the field. So you can imagine a big fit football pitch. Yep. And we'd do a demonstration on the football pitch. So, but yeah, you've actually taken me back because um, only until you approached me, I started thinking about, oh, yeah, I actually did that. <laughs> well, what a lovely thing to have done. And to, to have yeah. 250 medals to remind you of it is even better. <laughs> but now, um, in this day and age, and you all know this better than I, as someone who composes music for all sorts of different things, a yeah. lot of music now is it's all done electronically. You don't use old-fashioned instruments. You can do everything with a keyboard, but you do actually have the drums with you. I do have a set of drums, yes. Um, I don't use them so much now these days because, as you said, everything's electronic. And I've written a lot of songs, mainstream songs, which are commercially released, from pop songs, romantic songs, to electronic songs. And I've done all that, and you'll find all of those on my website as well. And I've also created soundtracks as well for gaming and things like that. Yeah, so it's it's been really busy, but I'm really enjoying it. But the books and the music have just come into their own. It's just wonderful. Well, let, let's get back to the drums, because that's my obsession, I'm afraid, Dawn. But um, <laughs> do, do, are, you know, are you close enough to a drum, and do you have a stick to give us at least a roll? Yeah, I can give you a roll. Yeah, Go on, just then. One Go second, on. Then. I can give you a little roll. I've got a snare drum by me, and I've got some sticks. So I'll just do a little roll. Just one moment, I'll put the phone down. OK, here we go, with a world champion drummer. About to show us our wares. There we go. Wow. That was, hang on, there's only me here, so whatever. We do the fake applause. Um, now, I'm thinking if, you, if you're if you doing that while you are marching around a football pitch, you're doing a, a parade yeah. down the street, two yeah. things must happen. Firstly, you must be shattered by then. Secondly, you must also be profoundly deaf because the, the ringing in your ears must have been phenomenal. No, we, we're fine because you're outdoors. It's not so bad. I mean, you're in my studio now, so it's quite loud. Um, but, yeah, it's... It was just amazing fun, and what an opportunity for children. It's a shame that they don't do it so much now, uh, because you can get to learn different instruments as well. Um, there's glockenspiels and so on. Yeah. Um, but it was really, really wonderful. So if you do look out, just look out for them. And they are scattered around, and you probably, if you Google them, you may find some of these marching bands. Well, I suspect they haven't been busy for the last year, but I oh, would imagine no. that, yeah, they'll come yeah, back big. You know what I mean. Definitely. Well, look, it's been so lovely talking to you today. And just while you were there, you know, just doing the doing the drum roll there, how great does that feel? That must be like a physical workout as you were doing that then. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's really easy. It's okay, really fair enough. <laughs> yeah, but better than pressing three buttons on a keyboard, surely. Anyway. Um, yes, exactly. But anyway, coming back to my book. Oh, yes. Can I just mention that I've got a YouTube Kids channel which is a brand new channel. I've started to put things on and I've animated some of my illustrations, which I've created. And so you look for Dawn Bosley Books and Music. And if you do Facebook, there's a first Facebook group for Dawn Bosley Books and Music and Instagram and Twitter. And it'd be wonderful if you could all join in and just drop us a line. And Theo has actually got his own email address, which is theo at dawnbosleypublishing.com. And he'd even send the children a free birthday email. So, oh, how lovely. How lovely. Yeah, so the children can interact and have some fun. Well, good luck. It's out today. It's uh, Dawn's Theo the Yellow Bird book three, My Adventure in the Countryside. Dawn Bosley, yeah. champion drummer, thank you for coming on. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care.